Welcome back. You're still watching uh, the Daily Debate, and I am honored uh, to be having with me over the program for tonight uh, Mr. Tariq uh, Rifat, uh, the journalist at the Middle East uh, News Agency. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. Thanks for having me. Anytime. Uh, first of all, of course, as uh, we know that the main topic uh, for today in Egypt in general, and more specifically for the Daily Debate for tonight, uh, the visit made by uh, Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi. How do you see the importance of such a visit, uh, especially that this is the first time for an Indian Prime Minister since 1997 to be visiting Egypt. Uh, actually, it's, it's, we are very happy to have the Prime Minister here in Egypt. Yes. Uh, we have a very good uh, feeling to see the, the, the Indian Prime Minister visiting Egypt for the first time after President Sisi uh, uh, invited him. Uh, uh, the, the two visits came uh, like uh, only two month, a few months apart, mm -hmm. uh, which is, is sh really showing uh, the development in relations between uh, Egypt and India. Yeah. Uh, also, the, the foreign and def defense ministers visited Cairo, uh, and an Indian uh, delegation participated in the COP27 mm -hmm. uh, in Sharm el Sheikh. Uh, it, it, it's a historical uh, uh, move in, in diplomatic relations and uh, heading towards uh, launching a strategic relationship. Yes, uh, today we have seen uh, at the summit talks between His Excellency President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and the Indian Prime Minister exactly what you said, raising the level of relationship between Egypt and India into a strategic partnership. What does this mean? What is the difference? Uh, actually, uh, we will have uh, uh, more economic integration. Yes. Uh, we will have uh, a strategic partnership to raise uh, relations and uh, have more in, uh, economic in integrations uh, amid uh, uh, very harsh global challenges uh, in climate change, uh, food crisis, uh, and this, this will help uh, both co developing countries uh, overcome this period. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, speaking of uh, climate change, because we have seen President Assisi speaking about this topic uh, specifically in Paris a couple of days ago and said that um, it is a shared responsibility for the developed nations to be protecting the developing countries. And I think Egypt and India, in terms of uh, the climate change, they are being affected by what is happening over in the West, for example, or the more industrialized and more developed nations. How can Egypt and India be cooperating in this field in specific for the benefit of both peoples? Uh, of course, uh, climate, climate change is a, it's a very important topic. Uh, and Egypt and India uh, are working nowadays on, on developing partnerships uh, in, in the production of green ammonia and green hydrogen yes. and uh, to protect the environment. So uh, India has made a very good progress, Egypt also in the, the Suez Canal economic zone. So both countries can uh, make a very good partnership uh, to help uh, protect the climate. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, you mentioned that there is only a few months between the visits of His Excellency President Assisi to India and on the other hand the visit of the Indian Prime Minister to Egypt, Narendra Modi. So speaking of foreign relations in general, this file under the tenure of His Excellency President Assisi, how would you evaluate it, especially with uh, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri at the helm? Uh, I evaluate uh, President Assisi's uh, uh, foreign relations uh, very strong mm -hmm. uh, with uh, India. Yes. It's, uh, he, he boosted the relationships, 75 years of, of relationships. Uh, it's boosted now and upgraded to a strategic partnership. Uh, so uh, President Sisi attended the Republic Day uh, a couple of months ago uh, in India and now the, the Prime Minister is here uh, he visited uh, many places and met with several senior officials uh, and uh, we are expecting uh, a, a very big boom uh, in investments and tourism and uh, 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 during the coming period. Yes, you mentioned uh, two important topics, investments or the economy in general and tourism which is uh, very interesting nowadays because 
Uh, we have seen today the Indian Prime Minister at the Giza Pyramids. A couple of days ago, we have seen Pep Guardiola, the Manchester City manager as well, at the Pyramids. So what does this say to the outside world, especially that we are living in the age of social media, Instagram and Facebook and photos all over the world seen by Pep Guardiola and today by uh, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And speaking of the potential markets in Spain, for example, and India, which is a big market for tourism, how can this be um, in the benefit of Egypt? Yes, uh, actually uh, the, the Indian Prime Minister uh, said yesterday to Dr. Mustafa Madbouli yes. that even uh, an ordinary visit uh, can can help boost investments. Yes. Like for instance, you 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 come here to Egypt just as a visitor or, or a tourist. Yes. And then you make some connections, you make some friends, and and you ask to meet some government officials to help open maybe a, a, a good business here, which helps the Egyptian people and also the investor mm -hmm. so uh, we have uh, we have uh, around uh, 38,000 Egyptians working uh, in, in Indian companies here uh, direct uh, job opportunities are provided through uh, 50 Indian companies yes. who are investing billions of dollars here in Egypt uh, of course they are be benefiting from these investments and they see uh, uh, investing in Egypt uh, is a golden opportunity for, for any company from any mm -hmm. country. Yes, how can we be increasing the volume of uh, trade exchange for not just the Indian market but in general for anyone who wants to be coming and investing into Egypt? Uh, actually Egypt now is giving a golden license yes. uh, to uh, investors uh, which helps them and um, uh, to invest in the country um, and also uh, uh, we, uh, we make the procedures uh, less complicated. Yes. Yeah. And, and some trade agreements, new trade agreements, will have uh, uh, some trade agreements uh, between India and Egypt, which will help boost uh, maybe Indian investments in, in uh, very essential uh, sectors. Uh, when it comes, w if we talk about climate change, uh, like e-vehicles, for example, uh, IT, we, we can really benefit from, from in, in, uh, the Indian companies in those two sectors mainly. Yes, uh, Mr. Tariq Rifat will be heading to a short break and will be returning once again to you on the daily debate. So stay tuned.